Saudações terráqueos. O vídeo a seguir mostrará um OVNI passando em frente à Lua. O objeto leva um minuto inteiro. Este vídeo foi feito em março de 2014. Foi gravado em HD, por equipamento profissional. O vídeo pertence ao canal Crow 777, e foi cedido a nós para legendagem em português. Para saber mais sobre o autor do vídeo, acesse os links visíveis na tela. Confira o vídeo, após a vinheta. Okay, I've got a cool moon object. It's very unique. I haven't filmed anything like this before for a couple reasons. Um, again, here are the equinoxes and solstices. We have an equinox, an important one, coming up in March. Don't miss it. Okay, so I've got a moon UFO to show everyone, um, but I get a lot of questions about satellites, so I just want to show people what I do and what my thinking is. Um, this is Stellarium. It's a freeware program. If you don't have it, you should download it. It's really, really useful. So the first thing I'm going to do is set it for last night's time when I shot. So here it is, February 14, and I shot at 8.38 uh, at night. I've already done this search a bit before, just the same time for this clip. So I'm going to zoom in on the moon. And I took the scaling off so that the moon's actually in the right size and everything. Actually, I'll zoom in a bit more and we can see real quick to make sure the moon is oriented to my video clip. Hold on, sorry, that's a mistake. And here we go. So here is the moon, and you can pretty much tell here's a mare, a mare, here it is. Um, here's Kepler, there's Kepler, so we're oriented the same way. Now, in my clip, if you look over at the video window here, uh, the UFO comes down about this way, and I call it a UFO just because I don't know what it is. Um, so let's try to determine if it could have been a satellite. Um, so what I do is I just start rolling through the minutes here, zoomed in like this. Okay, so let's get back. Okay, now here comes a satellite. Of all the checking I did, this one comes the closest. Now realize how far away it is, and I'll tell you something about Stellarium. They tell you flat out, if you look it up, that when they went to make the plug-in, they couldn't. It says they could not be predicted precisely using Stellarium's orbital mo models. The reason they give is for irregularities in Earth's gravitational field, lunar interactions, atmospheres, drags, so on. So what they did was they implement what's called an SGP-4 and SDP-4 orbital model, and this is from NORAD. Anyone can look this up. And there are hundreds of satellites listed here. Is it all of them? I'm sure it's not. It's the ones that are commercially registered. Um, could these be secret things flying in space or military or Lord knows? Of course they could. Anyhow, let's run this by. So there's the satellite. Uh, it's almost traveling in the same direction as my UFO, but my UFO goes this way, so that's not right. It's quite a distance away. Now let's watch in real time. The thing I filmed is on the lunar surface or over it for a minute. So let's run in real time. Here we go. It's going to happen quick. Uh, try to count. So let's see. When it's right about level 1,000, 2,000, and it's gone. And you will find that of almost all the satellites you track here, they're moving pretty quick. As a matter of fact, this one that I just showed you is moving pretty slowly. The other thing you should know is that I have literally used this program to find a transit listed because I wanted to film one to see what it looked like and I have since seen them and I went out there and knew it was going to be quick and I saw nothing I did this three or four times so that's how inaccurate the software is to actually predict something crossing the moon which is why I looked at this one which is quite a distance away. if the time was right or close I would consider it possible then I would time the orbital speed anyhow if you go to NASA and you look at the couple transits they show you, the objects are white because the panels are reflecting sunlight and they cross the lunar surface in a second or less. So that's what I know and that's why I consider most of these not just standard satellites. So let's move on here. Okay, objects coming in up at the top. You've got plenty of time to look at this one and it's unique in that um, this thing is on screen, in frame, and over the lunar surface for just over a minute 
Um, I'm not sure I'm doing this from memory, but I think the longest I've had a lunar object on screen is 15 seconds or less. As a matter of fact, it may be one of the boomerangs. It might be closer to 12 or 13 seconds, but I'd have to go back through and look. There are a couple that do a really long run. Um, at any rate, when you watch this, and I'll give you better views of it here shortly, um, you can tell that it's not traveling in a perfectly straight direction. It's kind of got a zigzag look to it. And as I get a good zoom on it, um, we'll maybe better determine what's going on here. Um, of all the things I've shot, this one sure feels like it's close to the moon. And I'll address that in a second. Here we come at 500% speed. Now look at the motion. You can get a sense that there's a slight zigzag pattern. particularly at the bottom there. Um, part of it's the camera pan, but most of it's the object. Here we come. Uh, we're zoomed 500%. Um, the guy at the scope shop had calculated a while back for me that a single pixel at the lunar plane averaged about a mile and a half. So this thing seems like it's got to be close to the moon just because of the speed it's traveling and how small it is. Um, and if it's anywhere near the moon, it's a big darn object. Now here I've sharpened and you can see that halo coming in around it. Um, a lot of the objects I film near or in front of the moon kind of get this halo. A lot of them get a red hue, but I don't pick up a red hue on this one, but it's too small to really zoom in on anymore or it'll just become pixelated. Now if you watch as it gets down to the bottom and the zigzag gets really prominent, it almost looks like it's spinning. So I'm not sure if the mothership emptied its trash or whether this is some kind of an object scanning the moon. Um, here we are at 500% again, 500% speed and zoom, and that's to exaggerate the wobble. And here we come, 200% zoom, 500% speed, and I put the grid up so that you can get a sense of the back and forth movement. It's a little more than just spinning, making that motion. Anyhow, there it is, um, a pretty unique UFO at the moon. Se você curte ufologia, não deixe de se inscrever no nosso canal no YouTube. Marque a janelinha para receber uma notificação a cada novo vídeo. Não vai se arrepender. Saudações terráqueos e até a próxima.